Who doesn't love ice cream? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jacob Rollins. I'm a professor in the linguistics department here at BYU, and I teach editing and publishing. And I'm going to talk about making ice cream today. We're going to make one of my favorite ice cream flavors and one of the most popular for my students. It's called Cone Follow Me, a vanilla ice cream base with swirls of hot fudge and caramel and chunks of chocolate coated waffle cone. This ice cream starts with my simplest vanilla ice cream base, which has just four ingredients, sugar, milk, cream, and vanilla. We'll start with the sugar. I went with about a 7 eighths cup of sugar. We'll add a, a cup and a half of whole milk. You just whisk that until the sugar dissolves. And then you add to that three cups of cream. And then you also add about a tablespoon and a half of vanilla. And then you just stir that together. Now put this mixture into the refrigerator and let it chill for a while. Our next step is to make the waffle cone pieces that will go into the ice cream. We'll start by putting the eggs in the bowl and beating them with a little bit of sugar. And I just do it with a spoon. You just want to get those thoroughly mixed and to have them start to turn lighter in color. We put in the flour, and this flour also has a little pinch of salt in there. All right, once that's together, I have two tablespoons of melted butter here that's cooled down a bit, and about a teaspoon of vanilla. We have a nice thick batter here. I have my waffle iron turned to about medium. What you wanna do is take about a tablespoon of mix and set it towards the back of the waffle iron, and then we wait for it to cook. This is the most exciting part of the video. Once I get it out of the baker, I can do several things with it. But remember, you only have about 30 seconds after it comes out before it's too hard and brittle to do anything with. I'm going to melt some chocolate to put over the waffle cone chunks. These are just semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm gonna put them into the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time and stir them up until they're nice and liquid. Then what we'll do is we'll take this and we will just spread those out so that they don't solidify into one solid chunk. This is my ice cream maker that I use for my smaller batches. You want to turn the ice cream maker on first and then pour your mix into the bowl. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes to turn all the way. All right. You can see here that the ice cream is churned to nice consistency. It should be a little bit heavier than soft serve at this point. The way we're gonna mix this together is we're gonna do it in layers. I'll do a thin layer of ice cream and then some hot fudge and some caramel and some of the waffle cones. Put it in the freezer for a couple of hours uh, until it gets up to the right consistency for eating. It's been a couple of hours and we now have some finished ice cream down here. We have all of our, our beautiful chunks of caramel and hot fudge and waffle cone. Take one of the wedges we, we made earlier and here you have Cone Follow Me. And you can eat it now or save any leftovers for up to two weeks in the freezer. I don't think there's gonna be any leftovers.